Welcome back to another episode of Modded Motors. Today we are here testing Alfisimo's tune, uh, Squadra tune to be exact. One of the stipulations to running with, with Squadra um, and Alfisimo was we wanted to give you guys an honest review. So if it was a, an equivalent product, we wanted to be able to say it was equivalent product. Um, Jason was very confident when he sent this out and you said, <laughs> um, you're gonna thoroughly enjoy this. I guarantee you. I know you guys are gonna like it. We want to be transparent with you guys. We are always transparent with mm -hmm. you guys. Um, that's the name of the game, and that's the way we're going to build the rapport with Honest you guys. Um, so when you see us kind of gassing this up, it's, it's not bullshit. <laughs> it's actually <laughs> it's, for real it's actually a badass product. <laughs> this is very not only very powerful, it's very linear. It feels smooth all the way throughout. The way that they've perfected the tuning, it's a, it's an enthusiast tune, if I should say that properly. <laughs> yeah. Um, that makes sense. The second you, you step on the gas, there's just linear power through every single gear. It, it's, it's very fast, it's very rapid, and it just feels good at that 320 horsepower. As you guys know, we rent a lot of different options. We rent a stock car, we rent Euro, I've ran Madness, we rent a lot of different, I felt JB4, we've ran every different option you can think of. And I will tell you that my car has never felt the way it feels with Squadra. Once you drive Squadra, I promise you there will be no other option for you. So first what you're going to do is open your hood. Next, unclip the two giant clips from the harness plugged into the ECU. Then remove one nut and three bolts holding the ECU in place. We only got two on film, the other two are on the opposite side. When reinstalling, remember the ground lead on the top nut. Next, after you slide the ECU out, please package it very well before sending it out to Alfisimo. Everyone has been raving about the Squadra tune. I know a few people, other content creators who have been using it, and I've been dying to get my hands on it. Thankfully, Jason Alf Alfisimo mm -hmm. has sent this out to this. Now, if you guys don't know about Squadra tuning, they have been around since 1991, so like since like, before I was born. Um, and they started technically established, I think in 2001, or somewhere right around there. Um, but they've been around for a very, very long time. Alpha is a, uh, a specialty of theirs, um, and they've perfected what I've heard, um, how this kind of We'll play. see. Nah. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> but again, they so far perfected this, as yeah. from what I've been told, um, for obviously an N, or not NA, but like a non-upgraded turbo. Eventually we'll be running their hybrid turbo, but we're very excited to see how their non- Oh, you're gonna open it? Hybrid turbo and regular tune. <laughs> Ooh. Squadra tuning. So we already opened it to get our shirts out, obviously. <laughs> We're pretending like we didn't just open it right now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that's really cool. Huge shout out to Jason. Huge shout out to Squadra. Thank you guys thank for you, hooking Jason. us up. We really appreciate yeah, it. Thank you and guys. we're really excited to run this on our car. We've been we've been excited. But we, as I said in our last video, if this is your guys' first time here, we've been working with Alfie Simo for a very, very long time. If you guys don't know, this is a, I know, it kind of looks like a QV. It's not a QV, it's a 2.0. Um, but a lot of these parts that we got here um, were from Alfie Simo. They got it shipped to us and they helped us complete this project. Uh, everything that we have on the car for the most part that's aesthetically pleasing from a QB is from Alfisimo. Yep. So my lovely wife, oh, big, my God. <laughs> big tip to you guys, make sure you package this very well. My beautiful wife sent this off without packaging it very sturdily um, and it did get a little bit of damage on the way over there, but it's okay. It should still work and everything should be good, I hope. I pray to God it still works because if not, this video is not over. <laughs> So like you guys can see, it kind of broke right around there. Basically, we're gonna put this in. Um, you're gonna line it up right over here, put this bad boy in. You should, if you do have a strut bar like us, because you bought one, uh, make sure you take that off. We're not gonna do that because we are rebellious. You should replace this because it's your ground. Is Modded Motors going to? Yes, this is new. Wink, <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Don't, don't bolt them down to at least you know everything's kind of in place. If we are running a code, it's because of the, the recirculating valve and we're gonna go have to get an OEM. I'm hoping that this tune fixed the problem. I think that the O2 sensor is just sensing that we have too much airflow coming in and it's kind of freaking out every time we throttle hard. I don't know. Ricky's I, matching, check the shoes. Sheesh. You sure? Hey, boo, calm down. I'll give him the drip. Damn. Grabbed it. That's it. Oh 
You see you in Saul, baby. Let's rip her on up. <laughs> and bass is kind of like lags and it kind of like it throws fuel it goes, right yeah you, you hear boom you hit more f oh that's what i was waiting for the pops and bass Mustang videos. <laughs> we crash into a curb. The video right here so this is gonna be a little breakaway clip um so i just want to say this this video is supposed to be highlighting squadra this isn't supposed to be downplaying any other tune i do want to say that you will hear us in this video say um the tune wasn't there so if you guys saw our, obviously our last video we had the pops and bangs we had the rev limiter right. disabled um but we just didn't feel the power and when we right. say there is no tune there there technically was a tune there we just feel like there was something wrong with our tune specifically yeah for, uh, us. for us yeah but our car is performing better than it's ever performed before, yes. um, and we're thoroughly enjoying it. Um, and that's what you'll see through these clips. All right, dog. All right, all right. There is me, no tune on there. Let me explain something real quick. Holy fuck! Oh damn! Dad, dog. No, there was no. No, I knew damn. it. And yeah. I knew when we went to the dealership, all right, all right. they messed up our tune. Let me explain something real quick. So we went to the dealership. We we had a problem with our tune with your propulsion. Um, so basically, we, th we thought there was no tune there. We're doing this, if you guys remember our draggy video, we we're doing the same times as a stock car, which didn't make sense to us. Yeah. We reached out to your compulsion. They checked our tune. They said, for whatever reason, our tune wasn't there. Like, like it, it disappeared. Mm -hmm. So they were supposed to upload the new tune. We uploaded the new tune, put it on. The car still didn't feel the same as when we first had the tune on there. This is a completely different car. This is... This is... <laughs> This bitch at 400. Can you imagine with the turbo? <laughs> bravo, Alfisimo. Yes. Bravo. Thank you. I. Oh my Squadra, God. bravo. Yeah. I can. You guys seen me throttle it. You guys seen me throttle it numerous <laughs> amount of times in our previous videos. Yeah. When have you guys seen us go sideways? <laughs> <laughs> For real. No, oh, dog. Man. When have you guys seen us go sideways like that? That. Fantastic. Thank you. Perfect. Yes. Now this is what we needed. Okay, this so is what I've been looking for. Oh man, I don't think it should floor it here. <laughs> yeah, this is this is good. This is yeah. At 400 horsepower, I'd take this over the IS any day. I swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> Jason, when I was, I was messaging Jason, he said, you're, you're going to see. You're going to see. 
gonna see. We I, saw. I see. see. I see. I get it. Clear. Clear as day. Got it. I get. I get the hype, guys. <laughs> I get the hype. For me, okay. So I know everyone like the pops and bangs and all that good stuff. Here's my thing: is like I'm just I've matured out of it. This just sounds. The downpipe on this sounds so much better. Yeah. This is still with the downpipe. Comes right back down. Comes right back down. I think this is the pops and bangs. The, 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 it doesn't have as raspiness because what happened with the pops and bangs is it would get stuck to try to throw the fuel and it go yeah. and it sounded horrible. Yeah. You see how it shifts. That's a that's a proper shift. It shifts hard and drops right back down, and it doesn't hold that. It doesn't hold the idle. Yeah. Sounds cleaner. Look at the downshift. Look at the downshift. Look at the difference. Look at the down. That's a proper. That's a proper downshift. I take everything I said back about the downpipe. <laughs> you like the downpipe? I, I like the downpipe. <laughs> I just didn't like the tune. Got yeah. it. Yeah. You know, this should. I can't even express to you guys how yeah. awake. I look. I gotta. I gotta reset my stuff. Get, <laughs> gotta prepare myself. <laughs> this Definitely. is a completely different car. I will. I will re-enjoy driving the car. A completely driving, different driving experience, yeah. hands down. Wow. Yeah. 10 out of 10, recommend. 10 out of 10. Hey, hey man, the light's still red. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> express how different this driving experience is thus far yeah this motherfucker's trying to grab track we need better tires we need better tires we need better. it's trying to grab right, hold That's on like man <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> those tires aren't grabbing yeah. <laughs> with only 280 horsepower we don't need that much we don't, we don't need that much thread for real I, like I said, there's a lot of other alpha owners that are trying trying the squadron tune and they're raving about it. Yeah. You, you have the modded motor stamp of approval here. Yep. Yeah. check engine lights i think the problem was the nail pipe oh with uh yeah probably because now we're not running anything yeah hi cody that's our right here look at that color look at the wrap on this one i love that color i want to our day two out here oh. well, right. <laughs> ricky never gives a warning to when he starts recording so i'm like looking stupid i'm like oh okay this right there, I don't know if I'll get I'll get close to the paint. This is our friend Levi's car. We did race mode in this car, and I absolutely love green. The more that I see it in person, the more I absolutely need to have the Stelvio in that color, yeah. right? Yeah, for sure. For sure. But day two with the uh, Squadra team, for sure. Uh, still love it. <laughs> <laughs> still obsessed with it. Um, we just got back from a all Alfa Romeo car meet really good time yes. uh we just saw we didn't get on camera but we just saw this qb crash so it was really sad oh yeah his, 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 i didn't want to pull out my phone recording because yeah, i didn't want to be that person but. yeah but he had got a big crack in the side of his uh his doors damaged side skirts damaged yeah. but if uh, you're watching the video and you want to sell that side skirt to me if you do go through insurance <laughs> I need some QB sets, Chris. <laughs> I'll take it broken. I don't care. <laughs> I'll fix it. I'll glue it together. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to go take it to the warehouse to go slide it and beat on it and do X, Y, and Z. That's what we're about to do. Yeah. We got to get the shock value. The shock factor. <laughs> Is that why you guys watch? Because if we don't get the shock factor, nobody's going to click on our video. True. 
Don't let me get to the point where this motor blows because I will highly consider TJ swapping this thing. <laughs> I'll do the next step. I will yank the motor out that IS <laughs> Put it and in drop here. it in here. <laughs> I think we did three of the race modes there, which is cool. We did. We're changing the alpha community one car at a time. <laughs> Only if you're local. You guys ready to hear it? <laughs> specifics of the tune now if this is your guys first time ever tuning your car you guys don't know what a tune is you guys don't know what we're talking about a tune essentially just enhances your performance enhances the essentially the mapping of the car so with this the, the 2.0s they typically get 280 horsepower that's where they come from the factory um, obviously different years different models there's a slight variance between the few um, with this tune you get somewhere around 320 again based off the gear and all that good stuff but so we're roughly somewhere around 320 361.5 pounds of torque which is a very nice improvement over stock. So you're getting somewhere around 40 extra horsepower with this tune and still, still being efficient with your economy mode. Make sense? Yeah. Um, how you can do this tune, if you guys are really curious about that, you can either do it what we did in this version, or we actually send our ECU out to get tuned. Which uh, I recommend. Which Crystal recommends. Yes. Um, or you can do the tablet. Tablet gets a little bit more confusing, especially if, you don't, if you've never done this before, if you've yeah. never tuned your car. I highly recommend Crystal's version, which is just sending the ECU in and getting it done that way. It's yeah. a lot more simpler. Uh, four bolts, take out, send out, get back. Package get, it well, please. You'll have it done in a week. The DNA, obviously you have race now and DNA. Uh, DNA, when, so when you put race mode in, essentially what happens, what I read from the forums, is that all of your other maps, DNA, goes to just natural. I think that's what I heard right. Uh, but essentially with this flash tune, it reprograms them to make them all work more efficiently. And Jason, you're on here, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, speed limiter goes from 149 to 167.7. Clearly we didn't get to try that today, <laughs> but we will be testing it at some point on the track Crystal wants to go to a drag ship now she's oh my god okay so let me pitch my idea real quick what would you guys think if we got it we bought a Stelvio we took this car to a drag strip and I raced Ricky huh <laughs> <laughs> sounds like fun <laughs> the other thing it has is start and stop the sable I know a lot of that oh it frustrates a lot of you for that start and stop I know yeah. I absolutely hate it how I turn it off every time so yes start and stop is completely disabled um, rev limiter. So I don't know if you guys have tried to rev your car, but if you tried it, you clearly see that there's a rev limiter that's stopping you uh, somewhere around three or 4,000 RPMs. So this will to go all the way to 6,000. And if you're saying, why would I want that? It's in case you're ever trying to get on a drag strip or somewhere else and you want to race, case, you know. you're able to throttle it and kind of get some good boost build up and take off a little bit quicker. Yeah. Makes sense? Makes sense. If you want to do the bench tune option, which is sending your ECU in, that is $725. If you want to get the actual tablet, that's $826. So if you feel like you're going to be switching from the tune on and off, get the tablet. If you feel like, hey, I just want to do this one and done, not deal with it anymore, go with the benchmark. Right. Personally, I like sending the ECU in. I, it's so much easier. Yeah, we've just, tuned we've tuned it, and it's, well, yeah. it's stressful, let me yeah, tell you. You just see everything deleting, kind of like, oh, man, cool. Like, I don't want to do this anymore, <laughs> so... <laughs> We have some of the videos planned out for you guys, um, but what would you guys like to see or what would you guys like to know about the tune? Yeah. Again, if you guys do not know where to shop for this, because I've mentioned it enough times, but you're going to shop at alfisimo.com. Go to their website, go down to the different options. You're going to go and click Benchmark or PowerGate, whichever one that you're looking for. Remember, Benchmark is to be sending in your ECU. PowerGate is for the tablet. Whichever one you choose, make sure that you purchase from alfisimo.com because they are the best place to shop. Yeah, killed that. Look at me, I'm becoming an actual YouTuber now, guys. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> imagine it's. I'm nervous. It's imagine it's shit. I mean, you have to lie. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is great product. We love it so much. We love it. We're gonna put this on for the rest of our lives. <laughs>